Hello, Lade Deo. Hi guys, my name is Lade. Welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'll be showing you how I make this easy peasy tasty egusi soup and it's all in one pot it's really easy really straight to the point if i can do it you can do it okay let's get started to make this soup i'm going to be needing some scotch bonnet at Arudo. these are not too spicy i'm also going to be using one big thing of ginger and then two medium sized onions i think those are yellow onions i'm going to be using some smoked fish i have panla some stock fish and then some cow skin or more i'm also going to be using some beef fresh i have to emphasize that fresh beef i'm also going to be using egusi this is the main and it is grounded already is the main ingredient and the vegetable i'll be using today is uziza different pronunciation some people call it oziza i don't know and then for seasoning i'll be using bouillon powder curry thyme and salt i'll be using some crayfish and some ogiri okay so let's start so you start by boiling the meat and you just season with curry thyme bouillon powder and then some onions i added cameroon pepper you don't have to um, i just like my food spicy and then this ginger instead of cutting it in small pieces i'm just going to do this what you see me do like i'm going to poke it with a knife i don't know if this is poking or like slice i'm not slicing through but i'm just like creating indent in it so like i release this juice i don't want to face the trauma of biting into ginger so if i do this it's easier for me to take it out so i'm going to allow it to boil in its own juice first before adding water and look at that that's the juice from the meat itself i find that this helps with seasoning then i'm going to add the cow skin which i cut then the stockfish at this point and i'm going to add water to kind of cover the meat and this is on purpose you're going to see soon as i said it's a one pot meal and so for the um for one of the other onions because i put one in the meat i cut it up and i'm going to be um using this hand grinder thing to ground up the scotch bonnet peppers these are not spicy i repeat these are not as spicy as habanero if you're using habanero you probably use one or two if you have a spicy tongue so i'll show you how the pepper came out but while you're doing that this should be good um you don't want the meat to stay too long because like everything is going to be in there while you're cooking so don't worry your meat is still going to be tender but you can go ahead and start so see how easy it was for me to take out this wounded soldier <laughs> so because um, for the purpose of this soup I'm not going to use all the meat and all the stock um, like you can see the pot is already full and I didn't plan to make you see the um, egusi powder I had earlier that's what I really want to use so I took out this quantity of meat and meat stock which I'm going to use in the future to make obono or something real quick um, yeah so I'm going to keep that aside and later put it in the freezer this is how the pepper came out with the onions this is how it came out and I'm going to add it now to the meat that's boiling see this thing is very easy to cook this soup and it's so tasty I'm going to add the ogiri next ogiri is like locust beans I don't know it's Igbo seasoning and just to be safe I'm going to press it so that it dissolves I added crayfish at this point as well sorry I forgot to mention that and then I'm going to add the fish. I can add the fish at this point. I want the flavor to go in. I don't want to add it in too early because I still want to see the fish. And then I'm going to be adding palm oil. It's important to add your palm oil now because you want the palm oil to cook. I don't know if that makes sense, but you want it to like enter into everything. And then we're going to put the agusi. Like you guys, the soup is almost ready. This is it too. This is it. If you don't know how to make a goosey soup, follow this recipe. People are going to be asking, they'll be licking their fingers and asking, What's going on? Your neighbors are going to come and knock. Try me. So, when you put this, um, I'm going to rinse and put water. It looks like a lot of water, but it's not. Um, this gets thick like really fast, so don't worry about it. And this is the consistency. So, once you're done, you know, adding the the egusi powder close it and allow it to cook for at least 10 minutes uh, when you come back you're going to see that the egusi has caked up like this and it's under low heat too, so that you don't want this to burn so see 
kicking of the ecosy. <laughs> um, yeah, this is it. And I'm going to add the vegetables next. I'm going to be adding the uziza. Um, you don't. The quantity is just you know based on preference. Um, yeah, so I added this quantity, and it looks like this because I used warm water to wash the uziza. Um, yeah, so this is our soup. We are done. We are done. And look, it's very little oil. I can almost say this is fit farm friendly for a Yoruba girl. I must say that this quantity of oil in a soup is great. Fun fact: Did you know Igbo people called Yoruba people Ofe Manu? It's kind of an insult. It means oil soup, meaning that our soups have always had too much oil. I recently found this out, and I thought it was just hilarious. Thank you so much guys for watching this is all i have i wish i could serve you guys this food but you know you can make it yourself and let me know how it goes if you make it if you try it tag me on instagram my instagram handle is showing on the screen don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't until next time bye